Hey guys, it's me, Sean, here at the beach, enjoying Alabama's Gulf Coast, and I got something in the mail here that I'm super stoked to do. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, so uh, you're gonna find out. We're gonna see how well it works. So let's get down there and check it out. All right, so let's check it out. What is in the bag? Ooh. Look at that. Any ideas yet? There we go. A nice metal detector and a little shovel. Let's switch it inside. Found something. You want to dig for it? Some right, right in there. What is it? Still right down in there. Some right down in, right down in there. Dig, dig, dig. What'd you find? No, it's not there. It's still over here somewhere. Let's try digging. Oh, she found it. What is it? Yay, found a bottle cap. Oh, something, sir. Another bottle cap. So, I had some success. I was able to find a few bottle caps, not the gold doubloons that I was hoping for while I'm down here at the Gulf Coast of Alabama, but it did work and it was a lot of fun. We spent some time doing it. So let's take a look at the unit itself right now and I'll go over some of the features and you know some of the, my thoughts on it after using it. So yeah, again, nice case that it has. It does come with a shoulder strap. Let's pull the unit out right now does fold down and fit in there quite nicely. It does extend. Ooh, there's the wire. So it does extend for use for me as a six foot adult. It fit my kids a little bit better. The reason it doesn't quite fit me as comfortably as them is the amount of space it had for the wrist. I wish it moved back a little bit further, but for the kids, it's perfect. Got a little sand on the unit itself. Easy power button. So you'll notice that there's a mode button here. When you select that, you can go between like the sensitivity setting. You can then, it'll say what it's gonna discover and it's gonna be where it points to. It's not gonna be what you want discovered. It's gonna be what you wanna eliminate from being discovered. So if you don't wanna find any kind of nails or bottle caps, you can leave the cursor on that. If you click it again, then it'll eliminate like soda bottle like pull tabs, it'll eliminate uh, to discovering five cent pieces, or it'll have the arrow for both. But of course you wanna keep on what it says, the 25 cent and a 10 piece, because that is where the precious metal is. It doesn't mean it's just gonna find a quarter. It just means that it's looking for those more precious kind of materials. And if I had it on that, I wouldn't have found anything. Again, a couple bottle caps. Maybe gold to bloom soon. You do have a place where you can plug in a headset so you don't have to be beeping as you're going by and everyone's going like, what's going on? And you can hear it better if it's a noisy situation. One more switch, you got your sensitivity and you can use the up and down arrows so you can just determine how deep you wanna go. Um, I just left it on. I mean, if it's on the surface and you can't see it, especially if it's sandy or maybe it's a little bit muddy and dirty, maybe you'd miss it. So leave it all the way on there, especially for the kids. Again, it does break down quite nicely. So it fits kids quite well. And it worked pretty good. The batteries go in the back. I'm gonna turn that thing off. Ha ha. And I do like this little feature that it has. You can see the battery. It has one nine volt, but it has a space for another nine volt. So you can put a backup battery inside of there. So I thought that was kind of handy. That way you're always ready. You never know when nine volts gonna go out. You can have a second one as a backup in there. So that way you don't have to stop the fun, you know, prematurely. Nobody likes prematurely quitting. 
almost forgot to mention. It did come with this cool little folding shovel. I mean, you can use this almost anytime you go camping, but you'll see in the videos, it does have the full, the cool folding shovel. A bit of advice on that. Don't let the kids just start digging in the dirt with it afterwards. It's a lot of fun, but uh, because it screws together to tighten, sand could get in there. It does make it a little bit difficult. I had to shake it out with water and kind of work it back and forth and back and forth. But other than that, it still works pretty good. I like that it's included with it. So anyways, I think I'm gonna go jump in the pool now, but hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See you next time.